a number of tips if you are going to interview in the near future. First is uh, the elevator pitch uh, is uh, a very popular topic to prepare for. If you look for resources and generative AI is also giving you some amazing tips as how you should go with uh, answering, tell me about yourself. However, what I like to bring to your attention from my experience is uh, companies uh, no longer ask candidates their elevator pitch in the beginning of the conversation, or at least it's less common when compared to a number of years ago. Instead, what they tend to be asking more and more would be, why do you want to work for this company or cultural fit types of question or another very common introductory question would be, tell me about one of your projects, right? So even if it may sound tempting uh, for you to prepare or to over prepare, I should say your elevator pitch is no longer that uh, common, right? The second thing I like to talk about here uh, would be the backbone test. Uh, so basically, you can prepare answers to all the questions in the world if during the interview they, you receive a challenge questions and then you stop, then you block, you have no idea how to go around this, or you simply uh, try to uh, agree for the sake of social cohesion, right? So companies are not looking for yes people at these high performing companies. So that's why it's important that during the interview, and even before to know that you should defend and be prepared to defend your ideas, right? So the backbone test is for real. And also I'd like to bring this to your attention. Um, the third thing I'd like to uh, talk about here would be that uh, many of you, many candidates are being overly optimistic about your ability to remember key details of some major uh, highlights from your career, right? And uh, basically, my point here is that be prepared to do a deep dive <clears throat> during your job interview, because this is one of the most common and most efficient ways uh, for uh, interviewers to screen if you actually own that project or if you are sufficiently interesting for a candidate, right? So if you cannot remember certain key details of a project, that will raise some suspicions, whether if you actually own that project or if you don't remember them and you uh, try to give other metrics, other important highlights, then maybe your answers won't be as, won't sound as interesting, right? So long story short, um, beware that candidates are a bit optimistic about how well they remember uh, these things. So maybe uh, try to remember these prior to your interview. Uh, and uh, the fourth and the last thing I want to talk about here is that uh, positivity or your state of mind uh, shows in job interviews, right? So um, not many of you realize that if you are going through tough times, that maybe this will also show more than you would like during that uh, job interview. So um, what's the fix here? Well, there's no magic fix other than to try to uh, recharge yourself with a little bit of positivity, maybe just uh, before your interviews. And um, this uh, will uh, tremendously help, hopefully. Right. So I hope you found these uh, tips useful and thank you very much for watching.